so hi guys welcome to learn with Pritam. in the previous demo we have seen that uh, we have successfully uh, updated the data of a particular employee that is this uh, this one this one we have successfully updated so now we are we will try to delete this particular employee with another method that is delete method so let me first close this and go to icosmos db and do task delete using string id so this id is the uh, partition key for us and now i'll save this and go to cosmos db service and here I go up same thing refactor implement interface and we ended up uh, is the delete it is there okay yeah delete delete is there so okay so here I need to write something that is let me first make it as a sync and then I'll do I'll do await underscore container dot let's say delete item async and it will return it will take id okay okay it will be type of let's say employee and it will take id comma partition key new partition key as id so i'll make it simple so yeah, that is it for the delete and i have to go here in the controller and i want to add another http header http delete and it will take delete employee okay so now here i will be using public then a sync task i action result and delete employee it will be using string id okay so now here we'll do await cosmos db service dot delete employee async id and i will return ok as deleted employee details filling yeah so that is it i'll build this let me see if i having any issue or not it is failing so there is an error inside controller okay um, okay there is a missing semicolon semicolon is mandatory so yeah it is successful now and now let me run this so okay uh, we have found one another method that is delete method so i'll open this and it requires an id so for me i want to give let me try out this execute let me delete some one user that is the last user and the user id is this i take this id this id will be, this user will be deleted if it is working fine then control p execute let me see if we can get 2200 code yeah deleted employee details successfully this is also showing us and now if i execute this you can see there are two data the third one is removed so it is deleted from the database let me go to the database and go to home now go here okay if i refresh this uh, see third data is gone so this is also working fine so yeah uh, this demo is done so we have added a data to added an employee to the cosmos database 
with this post URL. Uh, we have fetched all the employees from the Cosmos DB with this URL and with this particular URL we are getting a particular employee with an ID uh, with an employee ID and with this URL this put one we will uh, we are fetching the data uh, and we, sorry we are updating the data uh, of a particular employee and with this delete uh, with this delete URL we are uh, deleting the data from the Cosmos DB so that is it for this demo the purpose of this demo is done so uh, so thank you guys for watching this video uh, if you like this channel you can subscribe it and uh, see other videos uh, i'll try to learn more things and show you more things so that you can learn with me as well so yeah that is it for today uh, bye guys